Hey guys, good morning. Coach Shen T here coming at you with a grocery video. I just like pawed through the cupboards looking for some things that might be new. I know I typically will buy the same things over and over. Um, but one thing that really helps my clients is like getting ideas on like how to hit your protein. Um, as you know, by now, hopefully, um, protein helps build muscle. It helps keep you full between meals. It boosts your metabolism. So you're burning more calories at rest. It digests slower. Um, it has a very high thermic effect, which means that your body just has to burn calories to digest protein. So all the more reason to increase your protein intake um, your average intake of protein for a healthy person should be um, 0.7 to 1 pound per um, gram per pound of body weight or goal weight. Um, so that's just a rough idea. So if you're trying to increase your protein, um, I have one favorite friend of mine that just told me because we were having a conversation about um, sustainable goals and like fat loss and this was just on a walk like a while back. And um, I said, it pains me to see people like cut things out of their diet um, and do these restrictive things and go on these meal plans that are not sustainable. And so we got talking about it and she's like, I love that idea of like not having to cut things out and <clears throat> just focusing on things to add in, which we do. We focus on adding in protein, adding in vegetables, adding in more whole foods and healthy fats, adding in more fruit. Um, and so you naturally, by adding in those foods, you're naturally decreasing the tendency to overeat and overconsume the more highly processed, highly palatable um, foods that provide not as much nutrition. So we had this conversation and I can't even remember, it wasn't long ago, she messaged me yesterday and said, hey, I just thought you should know, after our just conversation on our walk, she said, I've been focusing on what to add into my diet. The two things that she started to add in were protein, more protein and more water. Those two things alone, and she has lost 15 pounds. Um, so, that is just that just goes to show you if you can keep this sustainable thing i asked her i said what do you do to um you know get get those goals in and she said she just basically has little quotas of how much protein and how much water to have during certain times of the day it takes a little bit of planning ahead but it can really pay off in the long run so um here i just have a few quick um protein options and then maybe like a couple bonus things um, but this is just, you know, you want to get your protein sources from whole foods first. So you want to focus on getting lots of meat if you do eat meat or tofu if you don't eat meat or whatever it is. Just as long as it's a more whole food source of protein, think like verse, you want to have like more grilled chicken versus like the processed breaded chicken nuggets or chicken patties that come like in the freezer section. Those kind of things when I talk about whole food sources of protein. And then if you can do dairy, we've got some dairy options here. Um, dairy can be a great supplement. But one thing, this is a very small protein, but if you like to grab snacks um, or have a little side, these are the Baby Bell um, cheeses. And this is a light one, so it's 50 calories and five grams of protein. So it's just like a low calorie, little bit of protein snack for on the go. And they're really good. Um, family loves them. Um, then we have these ratio proteins. They're super thick, like so thick. So you could actually make this into like a parfait if you wanted to with some granola. Um, but it's 170 calories for one of these and it's 25 grams of protein. So that's a lot higher protein than something you would get um, like normal, it says four times the protein, but nor more than like a typical Greek yogurt. And this is a strawberry and the vanilla flavor. You can do a lot with these or just eat them plain if you need to toss in um, some extra protein. I just found these and I love them. You have to stir the bottom. If you like cottage cheese, these are good culture um, cottage cheeses and they're strawberry and pineapple here. I personally love them. It adds a little bit, bit of sweet. Don't knock it till you try it if you do like um, cottage cheese. It's 100 calories and 15 grams of protein for these little cute things. Um, and those are another grab and go. 
Um, and if you're looking for a more whole food, clean source of like a protein bar, um, these are the RX bars. There are only 12 grams of protein, but what I like about these, um, they are 210 calories. So they're higher calorie, but the ingredients are dates, egg whites, cashews, almonds, chocolate, cocoa, sea salt. Um, and this is the chocolate sea salt flavor. Um, so it's a little bit higher calorie than some protein bars and a little lower protein, but it is a more whole food source and you can totally fit it into your macros or fit it into your day, whether you're tracking or not, um, just versus the extra ingredients in some of the other protein bars. Um, and then we have the bonza pasta. This is made from chickpeas. The cool thing with this is that one serving has 11 grams of protein um, and 190 calories for a two ounce serving. And remember when you're reading the box, it's the serving size is dry. So it's two ounces of pasta dry. Um, so when you are like, if you are tracking, just make sure that you're paying attention to your serving size or you can eyeball like a cup of cooked or whatever. Um, but um, the Sponza pasta, everyone in my family loves it. So, and they have different kinds of the pastas, um, but it's funny because you can't tell the difference between this and like a white pasta. And then um, another protein option, these star kissed tuna creations. I posted a video recently, like you have a bell pepper and you stuff it with some tuna and it gives you like the crunchy protein um, veggie option as a snack or part of your meal. Um, this is the bacon ranch one, but they have a whole bunch of different flavors. I will say one packet has 15 grams of protein, which is great and only 80 calories, um, but you do want to pay attention to sodium in these. It's 15% of your daily value of sodium in one of these. And again, these some of these might look familiar because I've shared them before. Um, and this has nothing to do with protein, but I love the sugar-free G Hughes Thai chili sauce. A little tiny Drizzle goes a long way, and this is literally what I put on my scrambled eggs like every morning because it's got that like sweet, spicy, and with eggs, it's just delicious, and I always have it with like veggies too. So just a little tidbit. That's it, you guys. I hope this motivates you to get on your protein, and we've got a whole bunch of people starting programming on um, January 8th. If you want to learn more, just shoot me a message, and we can chat about your goals. And I love the messages I'm seeing come in about people just like getting motivated because of the new year. Have a good day.